Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for around the 26th. Okay, you know the timing is fluid. We're just going to see what comes up. I hit the jackpot today. I did. I hit the jackpot today with my nails. Um, my place that I normally go to isn't open. They haven't opened yet because they're probably full of fear or something like that. And uh, so I went to my second favorite place to get my nails done. You know, I just went to my second favorite place to get my nails done. And uh, I walked in and I they had me, you know, wash my hands and go sit down. And I did. I didn't really look around. And then they send this girl over to me. And when I look up, I realize it's my girl from the other place. We both looked at each other, and I was like, uh, I said, I won the lottery, I won the lottery. Of course, I said it under my breath. I said, are you going to stay here? She said, probably not. She said, probably not. I said, well, I won the lottery. So anyway, uh, interesting. So anyway, I'm pretty happy about the whole scenario. Anyhow, what do we got? What do we have for the 26? What do we have for the 26? King of Cups. Very interesting. Looks like he's thinking. He's thinking about whether he wants to, what, he's gonna, what his next move is going to be. Looks like he has a big old uh, cup of love here. That's the Ace of Cups. He must be feeling something. Uh, he really has his eye on something. He knows what he has to offer by the looks of things. Now, the King of Cups is very romantic, very charming. Um, he's interested in, you know, having a relationship, okay? He's looking for love. So this is a very feeling king that is very intellectual. Uh, not intellectual, well, he may be, because the words came into my mouth. It's not about intellect, it's about love. It's about what the heart wants. So this guy is, you know, looks like he's thinking, okay? Look at, look at his hands here. He's thinking about uh, a love connection, perhaps? Hmm, what's my next move going to be? Uh, there's some sort of ship coming in. Or is it leaving? Is this ship coming in or leaving? Hmm. One foot is in, one foot is in the water, so... I think, I don't know if that ship is coming in or leaving. I think he's in the he's making a decision obviously there could be a ship that is leaving I feel like that ship is leaving he may have his eye on something else nine of swords reversed giving deep thought to a relationship Somebody is giving deep, 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 deep thought to a relationship. And you know, this is, uh, usually this is something to do with a bed. There could be some sort of regrets. Somebody may be having some regrets. Maybe it's regrets uh, about sleeping with somebody, you know, um, which is interesting. Could be regrets about sleeping with somebody. There could be some sort of anxiety here or something like that. What is that on my finger? Lotion. Anyhow, um, there's, there's, there, there's this regrets. Worry. Somebody's worried. They're worried. Thinking a lot, that's for sure. We definitely have somebody here that is thinking a lot. Oh, page 
Page of Cups reversed. Now the Page of Cups reversed could be a lack of emotion, unrequited love. A rejection. There could be a, somebody may be worried about a rejection. This guy is pretty quiet. Okay, the King of Cups is typically pretty quiet. He's thinking about his next move, but I feel like we have somebody over here that may be worried about a rejection. Because this is worry, and this is. Uh, there could be some insincerity here as well. So somebody could be worried about, you know, whether this person is being sincere with their feelings. Something is going on. Queen of Pentacles reversed. Ooh, now the Queen of Pentacles reversed is suspicious. She's jealous, okay? So I'm not sure if it's this person that is worried about a rejection or is something is going on. Now, the Queen of Pentacles reverse is somebody that is very stubborn, uh, could be very materialistic, may not uh, know their value. This person may, uh, there's some, there, this is like jealousy or something, worry, uh, possessive. Maybe there's this, the Queen of Pentacles in reverse, maybe a person that is um, insecure. There's insecurity here. So we have an insecure individual that, uh, this is uh, not controlling their emotions very well, perhaps. King of Pentacles reversed, oh my God. Oh my God, next to the next to the Queen of Pentacles reverse. So there's definitely some sort of, I think it's materialism or ego or pride or possessiveness. Um, Now this could be a financial mess. Somebody may be a financial mess. There's a lack of having enough to offer. Somebody may be feeling inadequate too. Somebody, this is worried. There's definitely worries here. Worried about financial security. Somebody's definitely worried about their financial security and I think they should be. <laughs> Okay, but these could be insecurities from the inside as well. Definitely unstable, insecu insecure. Maybe both people are insecure. Both people have insecurities by the looks of things. Uh, this is, uh, money is more important than love. So somebody is more focused on their money than they are love or they're more focused on their business or um, their job, but they don't, maybe they don't have time for love or something like that. Hmm. Justice. Now this is a decision. This guy, we have an individual that is in the process of making a decision for sure. Trying to make the right decision. Now, the justice is a card of karma, but it's also a card of doing the right thing, acting with integrity, doing what is needed to bring balance to a situation. It's a card of truth, being honest. Also a card of consequences. There's no toleration for lies here. This is about being honest and being upfront. So we have an individual that is, is thinking about what is the right thing to do. Okay, they're in the process of thinking what is the right thing to do. There's definitely possessiveness here. There's jealousy. There's uh, 
unrequited love or something like that. Insincerity. Somebody may be in a couple, okay, because this is a couple. They may be in a relationship, a partnership, where there's some sort of insincerity. There's some sort of... Uh, It's not realistic, put it that way. It's not real. It's not stable, it's not secure. One of these people, or both, are just in it for the status quo, or the to say that they are stable, or whatever, but there's definitely unrequited love here. But this person is in the process of making a decision based on the facts, based on the truth, based on all, not only the facts, but what their heart wants. Because the King of Cups follows their heart. Because this, I feel like this person is having a hard time. They're struggling with making the decision because maybe, you know, they focused on a relationship or a partnership in the past because of financial stability. Interesting. Two of Swords, yeah, having a very hard time making a decision. This is a stressful de choice. It is, and they're both about, you know, making the right choice. Somebody is having a hard time making the right choice. Sitting on the fence. This is a painful choice. There's a choice between two here. There is. It's being torn between two relationships because remember we saw that ship sailing. But focusing on the future, in order to focus on the future, the other ship sails, okay? So we definitely have an individual that is making a very, very, very tough decision. In the past, they made their decisions based on things, money, materialism, but it didn't make them happy. It didn't, not with that page of cups reversed. It didn't fulfill them. Now they're, they have an opportunity to go in a different direction, to be honest with themselves, but they're, they're struggling. Somebody is really, really, really struggling, blocking their emotions. There could be, you know, some sort of avoidance here. Inability to see the truth. Choosing not to see the truth. Somebody may be protecting themselves. Protecting themselves from, you know, getting in another contract, maybe. Prince of Wands. Now, this is the Knight of Wands. This is something happening fast. Act now, think later. And, it's, and this person knows that they have to take action right now. They know that it's time to make a decision. So I think that's why they're so struggling. It's, they have to make a decision. So, And this is a painful decision. It is with the Two of Swords. It's like they're torn between two avenues, torn between two paths. Needing to be honest with themselves and do what's right. Do what's right for them. But if they do what's right for them, they will have to... Uh, let another relationship or a ship sail okay I do feel like this individual is going to turn their back because the ship is sailing away and take action somebody's about to take action nine of wands reversed this, this person's been avoiding challenge great personal fear doesn't trust is overwhelmed and probably has some hard feelings. That's why they have blocked their emotions. They could be even some really distrustful, doesn't trust. So we have a King of Cups here. So this is, I feel like it's a man that is in the process of making a decision, but really has a lot of fear. I feel like this person has been uh, wounded. Okay, this person has been wounded. And now they uh, have an opportunity. It's like justice. This is justice. It's like everything has turned out as it should. Perhaps somebody has entered their life all of a sudden. And now they have to make a decision, you know, to open their heart or not. This Princess of Cups, though, is... 
a rejection. We definitely have somebody over here I feel like is feeling rejected, okay, because that is a rejection. This Queen of Pentacles reverse could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, okay, with the King of Pentacles reversed as well. There's, there's definite insecurities. We have somebody here that is feeling very, very, on this side, that is feeling very, very insecure about the whole situation. Very worried. I'm very worried whether they will be accepted or not. Um, this person has uh, probably been rejected before as well. Whoever this person is. Um, three of Swords reversed. So this is moving on, letting the past go, letting the past hurts go, releasing pain. It's time to leave the past hurts behind. Wheel of Fortune, there's going to be a change. This is destined. There's a destined change of course. This is a chapter that is ending. A chapter of insecurities. A chapter of holding on to pain. A, a chapter of not being loved because the Page of Cups reversed. That chapter is ending. Somebody was too focused on their money. They were too focused on their business. They were too focused on everything but love okay now there's an opportunity for love but they will have to move in another direction take action like right now this is at now think later okay before the ship sails okay because i just see that ship sailing so and maybe perhaps somebody is you know taking a long time just you know there's a bit of delay obviously they're taking a long time to express their feelings because they've been wounded but it is definitely, this is take action right now. There's no time to waste. There's no time to waste. There may be somebody else, okay? We have two kings here. There could be somebody else. And there is a choice between two. So there, there is. There definitely is. So, but this Wheel of Fortune is destiny, okay? A destined change of course. This is an opportunity to leave the past hurts behind and start a new chapter. Okay? This is po this is positive change. Life is always changing, being at the right place at the right time. It's the right time. This is like a soulmate connection, and I don't, I don't want to say that too often. But when you get two of the same suit or, or court, okay, the same, right next to each other like this, that's a soulmate connection. Okay, we get the King of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles. So we have a soulmate connection here, okay. Seven of Swords, woo! So the Seven of Swords, it, swords is... Looks like this guy is sneaking away. But he's leaving something behind, so he's going to have to go back. Somebody may have left something behind so that they could go back. Maybe it's this person right here. Because the King of Pentacles in reverse is somebody that is, has nothing. Okay, Typically, this guy is a financial mess doesn't have anything of value to offer. This is a sneaky, sneaky, sneaky individual that, you know, is, uh, a very cunning. We have a very cunning, and that would make sense with the King of Pentacles reverse. We have a very cunning individual that is leaving something behind so that, or they did leave something behind so that they could go back. It's almost like a form of manipulation. So there is, there is an individual that maybe try, may try to come back. Okay, just so you know. This is somebody who is very, very cunning and uh, clever. Okay, we have a very clever individual. Um, 
but I feel like this clever individual is being rejected. I feel like this person is being rejected because the person that they think that they're going to go back to has released the pain or has released and is moving in a new direction. That's I know that I'm changing the story, but that's what it looks like to me. I feel like there's a, somebody else that has come in or it is coming in very fast. So there's going to be a choice. There's a choice that is being made between two. There is, there is, which is interesting. Um, there's a karmic contract here that is ending. Okay, there is, there is. Everything is turning out as it should. With that justice card, everything is turning out as it should. There is somebody coming in very, very fast that is going to uh, help another person to heal from their wounds. The move reversed. Uh, reality check, the truth coming out. Uh, releasing fear. So yeah, we have an individual that has been uh, afraid no, it could be because of their wounds, their previous wounds. Could be dealing with the Pisces, could be dealing with the Cancer, could be dealing with the Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, um, Scorpio, anybody, really. But this is a release of, of fear, okay? We have an individual that has been thinking about opening their heart, and they've been thinking long and hard about it. There's some sort of uh, worry, worry about getting in another contract because they've been hurt so bad. Um, fear, very fearful, but I feel like this person is going to open up. I feel like they are going to open up. I feel like they are going to release that fear and uh, let the past go, the past relationship, let the past hurt go because there's an opportunity to heal with somebody else. But whoever it is that they're thinking about is very worried that they're going to be rejected because the person that they're waiting on is uh, probably not very communicative, not communicating much, may seem withdrawn, you know, because they're blocking their emotions because they're afraid to get hurt again. Interesting. That's hard to spit all that out. Anyhow, um, there is some, I think there's some sort of uh, change of course. There's been some sort of destined, this is destiny, this is fate fated event um, meeting perhaps five of swords so the five of swords is we got betrayal right here this is betrayal both cards Whew. that is heavy energy five of swords are on top of the seven of swords this is a uh, conflict inner conflict mental conflict we have somebody here that is very very conflicted now there, there I feel like over I think we have two different people here two different scenarios because there is a choice between two with that two of swords that's torn between two options we have one individual over here that is uh, a bully perhaps, maybe even abusive, only cares about themselves, is only looking for financial stability with the King of Pentacles in reverse down here. Now we could be dealing with an air sign as well, Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. This is like a very volatile situation, okay? Somebody that has no morals, that has no conscience, that is only looking for some sort of financial stability. I feel like this person is being pushed away because there's somebody else. There is somebody else. This is a reality check. Somebody's being pushed away. Seven of Wands, this is a competition. It absolutely is a competition. We have some opposition here. There is some stiff competition. And we have one individual that is refusing to give up. They want to be on top. 
I feel like that person that is, that wants to be on top is going to be defeated. They're going to be defeated by somebody else that comes flying into the scene. And they're going to get a reality check because they're going to hear the truth. With the moon reverse and right, right underneath the moon reverse is okay. We get the we get the moon reverse and the then the Prince of Wands re, upright, then Justice upright. So there's some sort of truth that is going to come in very very fast that is probably going to make somebody very upset. That you're going to hear you're going to hear about some stiff competition. There is definitely some stiff competition. Um. Phew. Five of Wands on the bottom. Talk about competition. Yes, there is some competition. Be prepared to, to hear about some sort of competition. And there, this is like a battle. Opposition. A fight. Um, war. Okay? The Five of Swords. The Seven of Wands. The Five of Wands. This is a battle. There is going to be a battle. May the, may the best man win. But that Wheel of Fortune is a very positive change. This person thinks that their their sneaky behavior doesn't, uh, you know, they can be sneaky. Seven of Swords. This is somebody that is very, very, very sneaky. They're going to run themselves right into a brick wall. Okay, this person is. This person is sneaky. They left something behind so they could go back. <laughs> I don't think they're going back. That was a good try. There's competition here. There absolutely is. So, anyhow, um, get prepared for, you know, to make a choice. It's for somebody, I don't know who's reading this is, somebody is making a choice between two. Uh, there's there's definitely a stiff competitor that is coming in and they are coming in very very hard and they are very fast and they know what they want and I feel like uh, they're looking for a relationship and I feel like they're 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 gonna they're gonna um, take somebody away Good luck.